that you've been enjoying Power BI and now you get this, your data is, has been disabled. So don't panic, could have been a better morning, but let's go ahead and work through this error. It's really very simple to correct, but if you've received this email, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about how to fix this data refresh. Now, if for some reason you're not doing um, data refresh automatically for your Power BI dashboards, this is a great video to learn how to do that as well. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to it. So here we have our, we get an error, an email message, refresh failed. Now this is different than the error that you might receive, let me see here, the other error. I was just speaking on this other error. This is different than this error, which is um, refresh token has expired. So they're very similar, in, except that this one says refresh has been disabled. So there are two different errors. See another video that I have posted on that last error. So how do we deal with this one? So it's pretty easy. So that's the error we get in our email. So once you get that email, go ahead and just click on your waffle and go to Power BI, number one there, and then select the data, number two, and then select the ellipsis right here next to the list that you're working on. Notice here we have multiple lists. Here, we're just gonna work on this one right here, or data sources, uh, data sets, as Power BI would call it, probably better put, number three there, and then select settings, number four. All right, once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and go into this schedule. So there's gonna be lots of, of settings in there that you're gonna see. One of them will be uh, scheduled refresh, number one there. So go ahead and select it. Notice the little uh, triangle thing is facing downward, meaning that it's open. And make sure that number two is set to on. Now I don't know, for some reason, sometimes these just flip to off. So it ha doesn't happen that frequently, but this is an incident directly that it has happened. So I don't know why it happens, but go ahead and do that and then set your refresh frequency. I think it defaults to daily and your current time zone, and then you can add other times. I have this one just updating once a day. And then if there's a failure, notify the data set owner, or you could also notify other people if you want. And that could be an automated help desk, for example, or it could be a, um, an email address uh, that you have to set up a task, whatever that is, or maybe links into a service desk. And then hit number three here, apply. Once you do that, you're gonna see here, your refresh schedule is updated, and um, which is represented number one, just click on the X and you're done. And the problem uh, should go away. So again, if you haven't scheduled a refresh, this is a great video on how to do that, where you wanna go. And if you have the air, it's also a good video to fix the air. Good luck.